Mini War Room Time for the leader of the Elite Four, Lance. His Pokemon are level 56 to 62, and he specializes in Dragon. Of course, there's only one Dragon family in this game, and that's Drakini, so plenty of those. Uh, start out with an Electric type to take out his first Pokemon, which is a Gyarados. Otherwise, keep out an Ice type Pokemon or a Pokemon that knows Ice type moves as long as you can, because it will just utterly demolish Lance's team as long as you keep it alive. Okay, here we go. Last of the Elite Four. Da, da, da. I'm glad they went back to the important league music and all that stuff. I mean, God. Weird things. Hopefully, Lance has some good, um, yeah, whatever. Ha, I heard about you, little Gaia. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They are hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible! Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Gaia! Oh, finally, we've got some different music. Jeez. Okay, so Lance, the last of the Elite Four, he starts out with Gyarados, level 58, Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Hyper Beam, Leer. This thing can be dangerous if you don't, you know, play smart. And, oh, uh, Gyarados is a water and flying type, so. Not a chance for an Electric-type Pokémon, like Pikachu here. Anyways, he's gonna go on straight to his second Pokémon, and the first of his Dragon Pokémon, Dragonair, level 56, with Hyper Beam, Slam, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave. Ooh, shoot, that could be a problem for Nami. <laughs> oh, hopefully, uh, the Ice Cream takes it out. And it does! Alright! <laughs> I didn't think this through, I guess. Alright. Is um, his second Dragonair, also level 56, Bubble Beam, Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, Wrap. This thing isn't a problem for Nami, so uh, if the first one went down with one Ice Beam, hopefully this one does too. And it does, also! So yeah, once you get past Gyarados, the Ice po Pokemon really show their stuff. And Aerodactyl? Why does he have one? Anyways, Rock and Flying type Pokemon, level 60, Fly, Hyper Beam, Swift, Wing Attack. Not a very dangerous Pokemon, especially if you hit it with an Ice-type move, because Rock and Flying are both weak to Ice, so you got four times Multiplier, and it goes down in one shot. So yeah, getting a lot of experience, and here comes Lance's most powerful Pokemon, Dragonite, level 62. Final evolution of Dratini, Blizzard, Fire Blast, Hyper Beam, Thunder. Do not let this thing attack you. <laughs> Our s <laughs> awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's Dragon Flying type, so I hit it with one Ice type move, and it goes down just like that. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon Master! Guy, I got a lot of money. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Gaia. You are now the Pokemon League Champion! Hooray! Or you would have been. Wait, wait, what? But you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. Ah! Alright, who is it? His name is... Gary! What? That son of a bitch! He beat the Elite Four before you! He's the real Pokémon Champion! Ah! He's always getting ahead of me and all that stuff. He's always ahead of me. I don't know why. He managed to beat these guys before I did. Well, then again, I did give him a wee head start. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's restore PP to um, Ice Beam and heal up my Pokémon, and... Uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave with... Um, Tangla for this final battle. Oh man, everything's almost over, guys. Let's do it! So yeah, the final match with Pokemon League Champion Gary. His Pokemon go from 59 to 65 and is well-balanced type-wise. His first Pokemon are always de the same, but his last three always depend upon whatever EV evolution he has. He has either Cloyster, Ninetales, Magneton, or an EV uh, and an EV evolution. Start with Grass to take out his first type Pokemon, and then just match up whatever Pokemon he sends out with whatever you got. Just, you know, stay on your toes, and you'll come out of this in no time. Uh, hey! I was looking forward to seeing you, Gaia. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for the most powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would best any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion! Gaia, do you know what that means? I'll tell you! I'm the most powerful trainer in the world! 
epic music signifies the final battle of Pokemon Yellow. And Gary is new, rather cool pose. Six Pokemon, so we're gonna have to take out his entire party, starting with Sand Slash, level 61, Earthquake, Fury Swipe, Poison Sting Slash. Just don't send out an electric Pokemon. Oh, let's go for Broke. <laughs> I wanna see this move in action. Alright, so he obviously goes for the Poison Sting, because it's the only way to hurt me, and not fire my laser! <laughs> I had to make that reference. And <laughs> Solar Beam one shot Sand Slash. Although, is that really surprising? Oh, crap. Alakazam. Last time I fought one of these, it didn't really go that well. Well, let's see how round two goes. With a level 59 Alakazam with Kinesis, Psybeam, Psychic, and Recover. So basically just what we fought with, uh, uh, what's her, uh, Sabrina. And he goes for Recover without even me hurting it. He goes first and he uses Recover. What the hell? So yeah, I'll lay down Toxic to make sure that, you know, Recover doesn't really work as well. And let's see how much damage Body Slam does. Oh, wow, that did a lot! <laughs> and it chooses this turn to not use Recover. Oh, well, this thing's dead. <laughs> I guess that one item that Sabrina used before I started attacking it, like X Defend, I think it was it, just really helped out her. And, well, yeah. And it was, that's, that was that. So, Executor, level 61, Barrage, Hypnosis, Leech Seed, Stomp. Not a very dangerous Pokemon, I would say. If it knew Psychic, it would probably be pretty dangerous, but otherwise, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't really say it's that bad of a Pokemon. Alright, so it goes an obvious Stomp, probably its most powerful move there. <laughs> At least the only one that can really hurt um, Charizard. <laughs> and it goes down! Awesome, I'm going through this rather quickly. Alright, now his three, you know, EV Evolution Pokemon, starting with Cloyster 61, with Aurora Beam, Clamp, Ice Beam, Spike Cannon. Let's go for the one shot! Come on, come on, come on, come on, Pikachu, you can do it! No. Yes! Alright! <laughs> this battle is a lot easier than I was expecting. I'm, I'm pretty much at level. I mean, Pikachu, yeah, it's a little, a little over, but it kind of has to be. Anyways, his uh, second most powerful Pokemon, Nine Tails, level 63 with Confuse Ray, Fire Spin, Quick Attack, and Tail Whip. This thing can be dangerous uh, if you don't prepare enough. Uh, surf. I don't want to risk a hy Hydro Pump because I think could miss, and it goes with the cheap Quick Attack. So I should be telling you, it's surf. And if in the past experience has told me this should one shot Nine Tails as well. <laughs> awesome. I would have loved to show it Hydro Pump, but Surf actually looks a lot cooler. And another level up! Ha! <laughs> uh, finally down to the last Pokémon, Jolteon, his most powerful Pokémon, level 65! Pin Missile, Quick Attack, Thunder, Thunder Wave! Uh, Ten Bucks says he leads with Pin Missile. It's the only way he can hurt me, and there he goes! Oh, critical hit, uh. Okay, come on. Alright. Stop. No, no. Stop, stop, please. Shoot. Mm. Yes! Game over, bitch! <laughs> Wait, I haven't seen what the move does yet. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Called it! <laughs> I called it! Ah, uh, King Nido took quite a beating there, but... I win! What is there else to say? No! This can't be! You be my best! After all that work to become League Champ, my reign is already over? It's not fair! Lol, we made this guy reduce to tears or something. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon. Darn it, you're the new Pokémon Ch League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Lol. Oh, Gaia! Oh god, he's come back to rape me! <laughs> Oh, so you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with... Pikachu! Hey, his name is Bolt now, bitch. Gaia, you have come of age! Gary, I'm disappointed! Well, I came when... <laughs> uh, the infamous phrase, I love it. I came and I heard you beat the Elite Four! But when I got here, you had already lost! Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokémon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Gaia! 
You understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Gaia, come with me. Yes, I've been slow reading there. Ah, I'm glad this is over. <coughs> Congratulations, Gaia. This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokémon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokémon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Gaia, you have sh endeavored hard to become the new League Champion. Congratulations, Gaia! You and your Pokémon are Hall of Famers! And this process looks a lot cooler in like the redone versions of this game. But anyways, there's Stafford Crowd, the last Pokémon to come to my party, level 61. Grass type! King Nido, the second po oh, yeah, the second Pokemon to come to my party, Poison and Ground type level 61. There's Shazam, aka Charizard, Fire and Flying type, the third Pokemon to get in officially be in my party. Ingo, ho 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 ho, at level 62, Psychic, my uh, fourth Pokemon to come to my party. Yay! And then of course. Nami, the people you all love, uh, the Pokemon you all love, level 62, the fifth Pokemon that comes to my party, and of course we end with... Volt, my ever-loving Pikachu, and a little cry there, it's kind of special, I guess. And look, there's me! So yeah, I've seen 129 Pokemon, owned 59, what's my rating? He finally got at least 50 species, be sure to get the experience all What?! That's all you have to tell me?! Are you kidding me?! I got that, like, what? How many videos ago? Oh my... Oh, I guess it shows that you should probably catch more Pokemon in this game. <laughs> Alright, so here are the credits, obviously. You know, once you beat the game, you, you know, get these. You get, like, all the names of the people who made this game, and then, like, little silhouettes of Pokemon. So yeah, that's pretty much the main part of this project. Done and over with. I've defeated all the trainers, all the leaders, the Elite Four. I'm now pretty much Grand Ruler of Kanto. And, uh, well, one of the things I obviously have to do is resurrect Team Rocket. But before that, there are obviously a few things I gotta do left. So, yeah, just for reference sake, this is the end of the major project. project. Uh, so, yeah, the rest of the videos for this project will be extra videos. And, to be honest, the only extra things I can do in this game are just capturing the legendary Pokemon. I would love to show that surfing minigame for Pikachu, but the problem is I need a transfer pack, and I used to have one, but I lost the damn thing a long time ago, and I have no clue where it went. Um, I don't know, if I ever get a hold of a transfer pack, I'll probably make a video, but yeah, pretty much the only extras I can think of is just, um, well, yeah, capturing legendary Pokemon, and I might do, like, one or two random other things. And of course, as I promised, I will try and do the Mew glitch. Um, if I don't manage to do it, I'll tell you guys, but yeah, I'll try my best. I already have a file uh, set up for that, so yeah. So yeah, and the uh, music, there's the uh, people who... Yeah, yeah. The end! So yeah, that's pretty much the end. So yeah, uh, this is Guy Christian 9. This is Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. And... Um, again, the main part of the project is over. Stay tuned for the extras and bonus stuff of the game, which is pretty much whatever I can think of. See you later, guys!